Diana Rossini tweeting out. I just took more pictures and videos of Julio Jones in the practice field for the first time with the Titans than any other moment in my personal life. Weddings, birthdays, family parties. I need to reevaluate my life. I feel like you, you, you have to call people when, when you see this sort of uh, plea for help. <laughs> is Diana Rossini on the phone line right now? Yes, yeah. Are you there, is. Diana, oh from ESPN? God. You there? Help, help me. <laughs> help me. I mean, I'm down on the ground. I laid down at one point to get this really good angle because I wanted to show his legs and how strong they are. Yes. I'm running from both sides of the field. Yep. Rabel apparently likes to make sure his media is fit. This guy, I'm sweating. Rich, I was all state and track yep. in New Jersey. Okay. I don't know what the hell happened to me. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't even make it. I, um, I was actually like kind of giggling as I was jogging. Like, yeah. This is awful. I mean, I know this is a run first team, but mm-hmm. why the heck do we have to run? Now, you know what? Because first of all, uh, there may be three eyes in Diana Rossini, but you're a team player. That's number one. Number two, what's happened to you is sports media. That's what's happened to you. Okay. <sighs> That's the, uh, like uh, what Fowler is like the only guy who seems to get stronger as he's longer that he stays in sports media. Like, I don't know how many other Aikman I'm seeing Troy Aikman's workout videos and stuff like that. Very impressive, but he's a former, you know, professional athlete, but you just only know one speed, Diana, you see the story and you just got to go for it. How many photographs did you in fact take of, uh, 54. of <laughs> I look 54. What the, what do, but Rich, this is what I'm thinking about. Yes. What the heck am I going to do with these? Like, <laughs> I already posted my one, what I would think was my blockbuster. Then yep. I posted my best video. Okay. Like, do do you want a picture of? I mean, I yes. always want to reach out yes. to Julio's family. Like, yeah, well, no, we'll hey, take them. We'll take them for you. Direct message, uh, direct Diana. Direct message. We'll take your we'll we'll take your your third and fourth place best uh, Julio Jones shots. We'll post them on that Rich Eisen show. We'll give you the proper credit we'll do all of that absolutely but this is a big story you've been covering this story he's finally now actually here maybe that's part of your excitement too diana you know i i I think that's what it is i think i i I like going into situations and really having zero shame which is what i had today um you know the 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 beat reporters in tennessee are are fantastic they do a great (laughs) job they're like a really fun group and they're very accepting when i come in because i don't get to come too often um But I wish I could say I brought like a level of just like national professionalism, but I don't. (laughs) I'm I'm worse than anybody. You're only the the PR guy screaming at me. Put Rossini, step back. You're going to get hit. I'm like I don't really like rules. So either way, you're right. It is it is a big. And Rich, you want to know why I think it's a big story? Go for it. I'm over the trade now. Good job, John Robinson. Way to go. You you traded him on a on a pontoon boat with your family. To me, it's the fact that this is voluntary. And this is just a really, really good first step, in my opinion, in telling this Tennessee Titans coaching staff, the team, I'm here to be a Titan. I'm here to play. I don't need to be here. I'm Julio Jones, 32 years old, future Hall of Famer, perhaps. I don't need to, but I am. And I think the fact that he is hungry to learn, and of course, I'm sure this doesn't surprise you, the first pass of practice from Ryan Vanahill, Went to number two. Damn straight. That's Julio's number, by the way. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, yeah, and 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 do you think Diana Diana Rossini of ESPN here? Do you think there's anybody in Atlanta seeing uh, uh, Julio uh, working out right now and voluntary after he missed so much practice time last year? That same look. What the hell? Where where was that guy? Is there anybody you think in Atlanta thinking that when they see him out there at the voluntary? I think Mike Rabel is out here going, "Thank God, thank God." <laughs> I bet. That's what I'm thinking, because uh, you have to figure, you know, we know his style. We know his coaching way. We know where he comes from, right. what, how they did things in New England. So to now be trying to make this little mini New England that he's trying to build here, you know, in, in a great way. Yes. That, that was the big question mark for me when, when this was all happening and I heard Tennessee kept pushing and pushing. I, I was like, how is this going to work? I, I have a hard time believing that they're going to allow – Julio Jones not to practice if he doesn't want to practice from everything I've heard in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So this is this is just a really good first step. Granted, it's day one of the honeymoon, but uh, hopefully they can go a few years here with some success.
It's exciting. It really is. They got to be all fired up. So uh, I appreciate you hopping on because I'm sure you're doing millions of Sports Center hits. And then you, are you you're talking to Julio later? Is that what you're doing later on? Um, it's actually happening right now. I chose you. Hmm. Well, all I'm just saying is that if you're if you're going to be talking to him later, just let him know uh, he's he's on uh, and it's being recorded. Will you let him know that in advance before that happens? Yeah, I will. I will let him know that, and then at the end of the interview, I will say thank you. Here are the 57 pictures I have of you that I don't want. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.